Well, Matt, joining me on the desk, first look at Sports and Fourth Woodminster Bobcats splitting their two-game road trip this weekend. Yeah, that's right. And you know, it was not bad picking up a possible two out of a possible four points. On Friday, the Cats walked out of Bonneville with a 3-2 shootout win. However, the Border City Bunch dropped their first regulation game the next night in Drayton Valley as they ran into a hot goal. We created 16 chances both nights, and that's pretty good for this uh, club. But you know, their goalie played very well, and, and we didn't bury a few chances. We let up on a couple around the goal crease. We can start capitalizing on our chances more, but uh, overall, we're starting to iron out the details more and more, and it's getting better and better, I think. So. One player made an impact was 17-year-old Evan Shumi, who returned to the Bobcats lineup after serving a two-game suspension, lighting the lamp twice. And now watching two games, uh, he's excited to come back and. Uh, make an impact. It always sucks to you know sit out and watch and uh, but it was awesome to come back and be able to play and help the boys out and get a W. He's a big body goes to the net and he shoots the puck real hard so both goals were a result of going to the net and fighting for rebounds and uh, that's what we need. The Bobcats are back in action this Wednesday when they wrap up their three-game road trip in Spruce Grove. Well, we're just over a week into the Bobcats season, but there's another Border City team that have hit the ice. The Bandits kicked off their main camp this weekend as they get ready for the upcoming season. After a long off-season, the Bandits return to the ice on Friday to open up main camp. It's safe to say everyone is ready to start a new season. It's definitely a nice uh, to get going again. Guys are excited, eager to get going on this coming season. It's exciting for my last year, so I know, I'm really excited to get going. After losing out in game six to Wainwright, I uh, couldn't come fast enough after that. And uh, I think a lot of us haven't forgot that feeling we had back then. I think we're going to carry that forward going into the start of this year. Now, although it's still very early with the team getting a couple ice sessions in, they have liked what they've seen from the veterans and rookies that are trying to crack the roster. We've got a lot of depth up front. We're, uh, it's really high competitive for the guys that are returning. Um, back in, we're, we've got a few holes to kind of work on. Some um, Our transition game's coming along. We've got a lot of work yet, but early in the season, so a lot of time to kind of keep going. This year, compared to last year, we're not as uh, skilled 